Oh, sorry guys, I do not know what happened there. Hopefully you'll all be joining me shortly, finding me. This has happened once before and I think most of you managed to find me. Very annoying. No idea why it did, did it either. Just had a tizzy. I don't think it's to do with the internet. So if you're watching this, hi Gillian. If you're watching this um, afterwards, there was a first part of this. We'll put them both up because unfortunately, once it crashes like that, I can't join it on. Um, <clears throat> so we just have to have A and B. Hi guys, thanks for refinding me. I'm sure Alex will shortly. I think she was doing it last time when it happened, so. Ooh. Okay, so that is now done. So I am going to put your back. Sorry guys. Um, so I'm now going to press this uh, flat. Actually, I was gonna stay seated, wasn't I? I shall do that. Keep my energy. Let's press that hem nice and flat. I might just get a bit more heat on this actually. So I'm using my, um, uh, I'm using my wildflower silver to make this. So in case you missed yesterday, this is a fabric you can get from us. Um, I've got stock of it here so I can ship it out from here. If you are ordering any fabric at the moment, it's yours truly doing it. I have made a couple of boo-boos, but all have been fixed. Now, nah, I think I sent somebody's fabric in someone else's parcel. But there was so many, um, there were so many um, orders from the the Easter sale, I got a little overwhelmed. Anyway, so I was saying, yes, I will be doing the live, uh, Instagram live tonight after the sewing bee. Oopla, right. So we're now gonna pop this in. Hi guys, sorry. Um, I'm gonna pop it in here. So what you do with the sleeve, you turn the garment inside out and you take the sleeve and you put that right side round. And then the sleeve goes inside the garment. Come ça. Oh, you couldn't find my live IG. It was on so over it. That's strange. And I'm gonna line up right sides together. Alex, are you here? Have we seen Alex yet, guys? Um, right sides together and pinning that seam open. Hopefully she's found us again. Oh yeah, she's here, good. Thanks, Alex. So yes, Alex, it looks like there was a question then about um, Celia was saying she couldn't find us on Instagram Live when I was doing my... Um, um, I used a meter um, when I was doing my yeah, chat last week. But yeah, we were, we were there. There were quite a few. You think there was about a thousand people watching. Um, oh yes, the uh, so this fabric is available now. And the fabric that I'm wearing um, is, uh, we have just ordered a lot of it because... <laughs> We put up a photo of me in it that I took after the sew along yesterday and so many of you are like, where's that fabric from? So we've just ordered this morning a lot. So that should come hopefully tomorrow or the day after. Okay, I need to talk about what I'm doing. Otherwise I'll just waffle my way through this bit. Okay, so we lined up this, the seams, and then I lined up the notch here. So you've got to make sure you're putting the right side onto the right side, um, as in right and left of the sleeve. Um, so you line up the notch. Um, and then the next notch I'm gonna line up is at the sleeve head. And that is going to go on the shoulder seam. So not the uh, yoke seam, but the shoulder seam. And keep that seam pressed towards the back. <laughs> uh, and then we've got a notch here, should have a pair of notches, but for some reason on my sleeve, I've not got a pair. But 
then you've got your pair of notches at your back there. So I'm pinning on the side of the sleeve. Sorry, funny sneezer. I guess it's getting to hay fever. Thank you. Hay fever season. Thank you, guys. <laughs> um, and now I'm going to fill in the pins. Fill in the pins, fill in the pins. Lining up the raw edges. Like that. Lukewarm tea, please can I have a hot tea? Imaginary person that can make me a cup of tea. Hot tea, please. <laughs> mm -mm. Okay. So, ah, oh, ta. So, um, I try to obviously look at all the comments you guys put whilst I'm doing this, but very hard. But I just want you to know that I do look through the comments afterwards as well. So if you're saying things to me and you're like, oh, she didn't see it, I'll probably see it afterwards. Okay. It's now like an army of pins. <laughs> Vicious. There we go. Um, so we are going to sew this on. Um, so we're going to work, be working from the... Uh, inside on the sleeve side oh, i say that and then i've got those two pins there dull let's move them over i always like to put two pins in at the underarm there because that keeps that seam pressed open okay then we're lining up with our five eighths of an inch of the inch of an inch or 1.5 centimeters starting at the underarm and off we doodly doodly Mm. Okay, pins coming out. I would just pin one sleeve at a time with this because, especially if you're using crepe, pins do tend to fall out more easily. And that's a bit of a pain. Um, if you've gone to the bother of pinning it all and then they're all falling out, <clears throat> is anyone close to looking up how to cut your own hair on youtube i've done my fringe but i'm like this mushroom hairstyle is just not I feel like i look like anna wintour but i'm like like you know when you like style your hair I'm like, i don't even know why i'm trying to style my hair because it won't style it's too short I think in Switzerland. Um, oh, thanks. Yep, done your fringe. Yep, I use my dressmaker. I use these skills. It's like trying to feather it <laughs> with a tip. <laughs> I guess us, us sewers, they were better off uh, <clears throat> with the skills of the scissor than others. But uh, yeah, cutting hair. Oh, someone else cut theirs at home, mate. Right? Yeah. I, yeah, so yeah, I think, you know, obviously it really doesn't matter, but does it? And, but, um, yeah, I think I am never going to appreciate, uh, they're from Tina, they're from uh, Accessorize. I am never going to appreciate a, a haircut more than when you go for that. But that's the, that's the great thing about this current situation. How much are we going to be grateful for all the things we took for granted? We're going to really enjoy them. Nah. Need to be careful because of the frill that you're not getting too much of that frill in the way okay. 
Let's uh, trim that down. Oh, I forgot to say about... <laughs> do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a little card that says, Lisa, do the intro. I completely forgot to do the intro, didn't I? So it's waffling on about my sandwich. Mm. I'll do an outro. I'll end it properly. Okay, so that's now stitched in. Okay, so now we're going to overlock those seams together um, so that they're lovely and tidy. Let's plug it in. I'll push that's it. I was like, how do I normally do this? Right. So being very careful, shake that sleeve down. You do not want to be nipping your beautiful fluted sleeve as you go. Okay. Little sections, little sections. I'm starting at the underarm as well. Always starting at the least obvious place so that any overlap and things is, is hidden. I mean, obviously this is on the inside anyway, but if there's any overlapping bulk, you want that to be underneath, not here. My existing one because that will look really good won't it guys <laughs> oh why am I getting stuck there we go let's put this down all the excitement da, 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 na, na, na. Whoosh, whoosh. they're looking extra wingy because of uh, the um <laughs> fluted sleeve underneath <laughs> right um okay i'm going to just trim him off right so now we are going to join the skirt to the bodice obviously you need to be sure of your skirt your bodice length at this point because you won't be able to alter it and if you sometimes it is hard to fit a bodice so i'm really bu buggered, buggered excuse my language i'm really bothered by this today um yeah, sometimes when you're um, trying on a dress and trying to work out the fit, it's really hard to uh, wear, um, to kind of get an idea because obviously the weight of the skirt will pull it down. So sometimes it might seem that the waist seam is too high, but then actually it pulls it down. Um, so you might want to tack this on before, if you're a bit nervous about whether you need to take um, more off or not on your waist seam. Okay, so it's getting this right. Getting it right, getting it right. Okay. So, oh no, what have I done? <laughs> Apparently I was on fire the other day. Um, I have left on the bodice, the left hand bit open, not the right hand bit. Don't. So I'm just gonna quickly do that. I'm just going to unpick that little bit and then up to the notch and then I'm just going to re-stitch that reverse in. Just looking and thinking, hang on a second, why is this not lining up with my skirt? And Okay. 
speedily re resolved. And I just now need to sew the gap up on the other side. I have to say, I'm one of those people that um, struggle with my left and my right. <laughs> I get a bit confused. You know when you're at exercise classes or dance classes? Like, if I th overthink it, I get so confused. So, I don't know, there's something, there's some block of, of kind of visualising it in my head. So this sort of thing is also confusing for me. It's like, do you remember that episode of Friends when Joey has to step into the map when they're in London? It's a bit like that. It's like that's often I have to like put the garment on to, to make sure I'm getting the right side. Anyway, doesn't matter. It's all been resolved. On we go. Okay. So we are now going to take the skirt. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're taking the skirt at the uh, waist seam and placing it right sides together with the bodice at the waist seam and so I'm going to first just line this up so this is my little opening point make sure that your seams are continue to press up to that point so even though the gap is there you still want those seams pressed because we're going to do a little bit of edge stitching just to make that neater um, oops, why is my all fingers and thumbs Mm. Mm. There we go. Okay. Okay. No, it looks like I need to do a little bit of the skirt easing. pin that there so obviously there will be the seam allowance turned over and I'm gonna just turn that whilst I machine that on if you have done the hem already on your um, <clears throat> um, on your bodice then it, it, I'd recommend just turning the skirt over so that where it will be hemmed along the front of the skirt. If you just turn that and then you'll stitch that in, it will just help make that a neater join. So yeah, I've got a little bit of easing that I need to do here along this waist seam. So I'm just gonna pin relatively thoroughly. Thoroughly and regularly. Regularly and thoroughly. It's like red lolly, yellow lolly. Regularly and thoroughly and regularly and thoroughly. Mm. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay. And then this side seam. Pinny pinny. like so and then I'm going to do the bit here and look I do need to ease in a bit there but don't be alarmed if you need to ease in sometimes you you need to ease in more with certain fabrics just how it is as long as it's not too much of a difference then you know it's just the fabric stretched rather than um, something's gone wrong with your um, cutting Ooh. Uh, and certainly when you overlock things separately, the process of overlocking will, oops, will stretch it out. But we do overlock a lot of things separately with this and it's just, it's just to do with, um, the mainly at the waist seam, it's to do with the, the gap that we have to leave. Um, 
So you will find that you may have stretched things a bit. Okay. Yeah. And I don't know if any of you found that when you do the waist seam, not the waist seam, the side seams, um, there is a bit of stretch that can happen then because of the, uh, the way it's, it's not on the bias, but it is slightly, the side seam is quite at an angle, so it does stretch out. You've got to be careful of that. This one's a bit better, doesn't need as much easing. Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks like the heavens are going to open. Ooh, moody out there. Come on, son, we liked it when you were out. We're sewing all our lovely dresses. I'm going to wear this on Jazzy's birthday. Doesn't matter that it's not going to be a big party. There will be a photo that I will have. It will be her third birthday and I'll be wearing this dress. Ooh. Okay. Right guys, we're pinned. So let's go and stitch that. Um, so centimetre and a half seam allowance, five eighths of an inch. I'm starting at the centre, well it's not the centre front really is it, but the front edge. And I have got that skirt front edge folded over just to start my hem there, which you won't need to do if you haven't hemmed your bodice yet. It's just because I went ahead and did that. Even though I've pinned lots for easing, it's not liking it. It is a bit sad to have a birthday right now, but you've got to make the most of it. And, you know, uh, I mean, for my sister's sake, she would have normally been at school on her birthday because she's a teacher um, and her kids would have been school. So I would have, I think Matt and I had both taken Jasmine's birthday off anyway. So I have her on Monday, so it's no different really. But um, Matt had taken it off, so we would have still been with her. But, you know, mum and dad wouldn't have been with her, so that's nice. Mm -hmm. And actually, she's so little, she won't really, you know, I think next year from the fourth birthday, that's when you want to party with your friends, so. Mm. As long as we play the party games, I think that's all that she'll mind. Um, not mind, but as in care about. As long as there's party games, as long as there's cake, as long as there's jelly and ice cream. Ooh. Sorry, I'm having to like, my easing is just not enough, so I'm having to repin as I go. Being a pain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can't really see, but what I'm doing is like I'm doing this sort of this action, like claw. I'm basically trying to hold down as much of the um, fabric as possible at different points, but not flatten it. Because if you flatten it, then if your hands are like this. Or if they're like that, then something which isn't, you're not going to help with the distribution distribution of the extra fabric on top. Whereas if they're in this kind of uh, position, then I'm keeping it kind of eased with my fingers as well. I hope that makes sense. Okay, I'm coming up to the little. Um, gap, so I'm just going to finish there with a reverse. And then carry on at the next point.
we're doing really well. Oh no. So we're doing really well for time. But then, of course, there was another video before. Can someone let me know what the time here is in the UK? So I've got an idea. I can do the maths of how long we've got left. 1.36. Thanks, Alex. So, <laughs> we've got another 20 minutes. Oh, we're not doing badly, are we? Not doing badly. like the Elsa skirt. Do you know what? I overlooked the Elsa skirt, although I wore it for New Year's Eve this year. wonder if we can find a photo. Oh, I've got a photo. Yeah, I wore the silver one. And I was actually with Elisa Lex from By Hand London. We're, we're good friends and uh, she invited me to her dad's beautiful country house and uh, yeah, I felt like I was living a Downton Abbey dream. It was amazing. Um, and uh, yeah, I uh, wore that with a big petticoat underneath it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just getting a bit of annoyance there. I'm just going to change that so that that seam join is better. Okay, we're almost at the end. Trimmy, trim, trim. So that does need pressing open and we also need to press in the length here. Um, mm -hmm. So, oh no, we're not switched on, let's switch on. Okay, I'm gonna turn it so you can see me a bit better. Um, okay, so pressing open this waist seam. My iron isn't quite hot enough yet, but hopefully it will be. Yeah, this is not ideal the way that I've done this because it does mean that you're going to have to do some hand finishing of this seam here. I'll show you what I mean. I don't know why, because I think I did it exactly the same on the top, but I didn't, maybe I didn't. Maybe I hemmed it afterwards, I can't remember, but yeah. Um, yeah, to be honest, you're going to stitch the ties on. Um, so hopefully you can be neatened up then. Okay. Oh, I've got this little... Pressing this. Okay, we have a dress, guys. Woohoo! Not finished, but you know, getting there. Um, so I'm also what I'm going to do now as I'm at the iron. I'm going to press that front edge because we need to do that. So I'm just going to press that over by a centimetre. Hopla. Um, and the e where this is here. What I'm going to do is I've got that. I'll show you actually when I'm up close. I'll show you what I'm going to do to that to make that neater that drawing, and then I'm going to press the other side, and then that's done as well.
I took a photo yesterday of my pyjamas, guys. They look so lovely, and I'm very excited now I can wear them. Uh, now they've been photographed. I'm sure Alex is going to be putting it up on Instagram soon, but such a lovely summer pyjama. If you don't know what I'm talking about, we did that on the live sew along last week. Oh, so the mess that I have done here, let's try and tidy this up. So here, oops, here, yeah. So that's gonna get stitched down there when I do the skirt. However, this bit, what happens to him? So I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tuck that in and then fold that back over there. And I'm just gonna put a pin in it, but I'm not gonna worry about it yet. But when we do the tie, I'll be able to correct that and make it tidier. Um, and I'll just stitch over the existing stitch line there. But I don't really recommend doing it in this order. I don't know why I did it like this. There's usually a, a method to my, my decision on that, but I can't think what it is at the moment. Okay. So, we then stitch that down, edge stitch that, just like we did at the bottom of here. Now, you've seen me do that, so I'm not going to do that now. Um, that's because we're not going to have oodles of time. I'm going to show you about the ties because um, I have a little tip to show you about how to turn the ties through. So let's do one, I'll sew the other tie up with you. So we're going to place that right sides together. Mm -hmm. Like so. Um, and I'm only going to pin that bit at the top. I'm not going to bother pinning that, but obviously if you want to, you can. But I find on a little strip like this, it's just as easy to pin it. Um, um, like just as easy to do, sew it without it being pinned. So you'll need to pivot at that first corner. And then down you come. Now I'm just going to check the seam allowance because I decided I wanted to make mine, I think, slightly wider. Um, I just want to check. <laughs> yeah, so you've still got to, yes, it's a centimetre seam allowance, yeah. So I'm just making mine very slightly wider, but not much. Um, so yeah, not 1.5 for this. It's three eighths of an inch or a centimetre. And just keep those raw edges together. Whizzy whizzy along. I did also sh slightly shorten these um, just because they do tie really long and that is part of the design that they're meant to sort of be elegant and sort of hang down sort of in a kind of 19, a bit like a sort of 1920s dress with sort of a tassel tie, that sort of idea. However, um, it was more to do with fabric, um, with the way that I cut everything out. So I didn't um, have a longer strip because I cut the bodice out first. I needed to cut this out. I don't know why I thought I might have needed it yesterday. So I cut it out of the length that I cut the bodice out of. So I just made it a bit shorter. I quite like it. I mean, it's a bit longer than the one I've got on the top, but I hadn't thought to do that before until I did this top. And now I'm like, oh, I quite like it short as well. Okay, so that is done. But we now need to trim down the seam allowance. So seam allowance um, of a centimetre, mine's just a bit under, and I'm gonna trim it down so that I've got five mils left. And that will just remove some of the bulk so that when we turn it through, it's a bit easier. Ooh, speed cutting here, guys. <laughs> Almost. Oh, 
and then I'm just going to cut the corner like that. So I have, uh, I can get a nice point through. Right, turning this. So what you do, take a safety pin, close it, <laughs> and then I'm just going to drop that in and let it fall all the way down. And then from inside, I'm going to uh, put the safety pin out and back in. This is the fiddliest bit, getting it back in. And then close it. And then you can start to turn it. Once you've got it turned on its way, you can then, it gets a bit easier. And you just start to pull that out like over it. That's it, so it's now on its way. And I'm just feeding that through. Do this as you go along because if you don't keep up with the pulling through, it gets very difficult at the end. And I find that that kind of motion with your nails um, sort of helps scrape it along. Nice. It's again, a bit like the delicate thing. Yeah, chopstick is, is a bit hard for something as long as this. See here, I've forgotten to have let it kind of get bad there. So I'm just gonna, I'm holding on here and I'm just pulling it down. chatting about zoom meetings we had a zoom meeting yesterday for my sister's birthday and we did a quiz and my cousin had done a quiz for her um and so it was really nice we had my cousins in san francisco or my cousin with his family in san francisco had my other cousin in frankfurt with his family my uncle who now lives in france <laughs> very international um and my aunt and my other cousin and uncle and her fiance in oxfordshire Great. And then my sister, obviously, in Bristol. So, good old Zoom. What would we do without it? Right. Here we are. Da da. So, once you've got that in, you can be a little bit rougher and pull a little bit harder. Mm. Still a long, it's still getting stuck though. Come on. Come on, mister. Oi. You always think you're going to get that really satisfying moment earlier than you do. I'm coming up to it, guys. I'm coming up to that last bit where when you turn it and it's like whoosh. Ah, oh, ah, oh, whoosh, whoosh. Okay, then we take the safety pin out from the end and then we're just going to give that a press. And so when you're pressing that, you need to make sure that the seam is rolled, right, is sort of on the edge. So Again, this sort of get a bit of um, dampness on your fingers, roll it like that, and then hold that seam right on the edge. So you've got to do it in little sections. So roll it so it's on the edge, hold it in place. Sometimes you can sort of pinch it out with your nails, depends if you've got nails or not. But I find the rolling action better. So rolling the seam to the edge, and then pressing for that. Rolling and pressing and rolling and pressing. Um, so we are running out of time. So let's talk through what's left to do after I've done this. Um, but hopefully I've done all the hard bits with you. 
haven't really got any more wisdom to impart when it comes to any more of the hemming. It's just mainly hemming now, isn't it? Um, and stitching the ties on. But I will finish it as always and I will get a photo of it at some point um, and then you guys will see it on Instagram so make sure you're following us on Instagram and also if you're making anything yourself and you want to share it with us on Instagram use the hashtag stay home and sew along so we can all see what you've been sewing you can also use our normal hashtags as well okay I just did that without telling you what I was doing but um, I just teased it out like that. I used the meter. Where's the cat? I don't know. I think she's under Jasmine's bed. Um, and Poppy's through there as well, having a nap. So I just teased that out by putting the pin into the seam and then pulling it. Um, I need. I used the meter to make this and I made a size eight. Um, okay, so what you need to do with these ties is you need to press over that raw edge, you need to press that over by about five mils. So if I just put a pin in that. Like that. Okay. And then the seam goes down towards the hem. And so you take, where is it? Here. You've got the, uh, this is obviously normally will have been stitched. So you take that and you line it up so with Oh, I've got it on the wrong side. Let's do it on the other side. So you line it up. Let's tuck that in with the waist seam. Okay, and you can use the existing stitch line, so it'll be like that. So from the wrong side, yeah. So it's folded over like that, and then put on put onto the wrong side, and then you can use the existing stitch line that you'll have here to um, go over it and then you'll probably need to do a second one just to really anchor it in. So you've got one there and then you've also got one on the other side. And then you've just got to do your hemming at the bottom. I know what I'm not that. I'm gonna do this with you guys before I go. Before I go, We haven't done that, so let's just do that. How I'm doing for out of time, Alex? Okay, I'm just gonna tuck that seam allowance so I'm in there. Mm -hmm. Oh good, we've got time. And then I'm just gonna make sure those seam allowances there are also good. So, I don't know what that thread is from. It's from overlocking or something. Oh no, it's where I have to unpick, that's what it is. Thinking, why is there thread there? There should not be thread there. It's getting a little bit messy. You know me, I get really annoyed with little threads, or any threads hanging off. So. Okay. Okay, like that. So. Oh, it looks like troll latches. <laughs> troll watch today's extra um, annoying Alex for you. Sorry about that. So I'm keeping those pins in there because um, I really want to make sure that that seam allowance doesn't end up poking through the gap. And there's one little bit of stubborn seam allowance that really wants to pop out and say hello and I'm not having it. You are not popping out, Mr. Seam Allowance. No, no, no. This is not your moment. Okay, so. Edge stitching, I would say a couple of mils from the opening. I'm starting at the top there. I've got a lot of pins, I need to take that first one out. Whoops, a daisies. So then I'm gonna pivot, needle in, pivot across. Oh no, my bobbin has run out. Typical. We're literally the last little bit of sewing. We've got bobbins all over the place in here, but none of them are the right colour. Never mind. There's actually some there though. Hopefully that's enough. It's just snapped. Hmm. 
Mm. I've lost it. Oh, it's there. But all my pins are out. I have to repin it now. And very annoying. I've got threads in there again. <laughs> oh dear. Right. I should show you what I've done here with my pinning. So I'm thinking about how it will be under the sewing machine. So I'm going to start here, this side, but that pin is going up so I can pull it like that. And that pin is down so I can pull it that way. <laughs> so I can pull that first one out. Um, and then... Pivoty, pivoty. Sew across to two millimeters on the other side. Just a little bit too far then. Ooh. And then pivoty, pivoty. I just need to trim those off from the outside and then also on the inside. So what that does, let's trim these off. <clears throat> so that's there. You see the edge stitching? So that is it. So you've just got to do front lem lengths, hem, so front edges, hems, and then stitch these on and you're done. I am gonna put it on. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on over guys, because I've yet to be able to put, I haven't put, been able to put anything on for a while, have I? see how it will be yeah nice eh perfect for Jessie's birthday um so guys that is it for this week for sew alongs i'll be back next week we are doing monday finger puppets uh for the kids and then after that we're doing the um juniper skirt which is the little kind of gathered cotton skirt um and then after that um, on Tuesday, we are doing the pussy bow blouse. So, yeah, these do much, don't they? So, um, yeah, pussy bow blouse, um, which is exciting. And I have ordered some fabrics for that. They should be with me tomorrow, but that person that was calling was the guy, so I'll have to call him back. But I ordered some really nice viscoses for the pussy bow blouse because I thought we haven't really done any much viscose. <clears throat> so, I've got that. And um, we'll also be putting up um, as well the fabric that we have get restocked as well. So just keep an eye on Instagram and you'll see when it's restocked. Um, so I will see you then. And some of you, I'll see you tonight for the live sew along, um, live chatting um, after on Instagram after the uh, sewing bee. Finally got my words out. Thanks so much for joining us, guys. Um, don't forget to give us a thumbs up or to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to um, pay a donation, buy us a coffee as a thank you for, thanks Lorian, for this, um, this live video, then there is a link probably coming up very soon and also in the description box. Thank you so much guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.